Hi, I'm Dr. Erica Middleton. I'm the director of the Language and Learning Lab at Moss Rehabilitation Research Institute. My doctorate was in cognitive psychology with a focus on psycholinguistics, um, and my research is focused on language production and um, deficits in language production from brain injuries, uh, specifically stroke. In aphasia, which is acquired language deficit from stroke, um, a very common problem is that people have a hard time retrieving the words for common everyday objects or for people or streets, um, addresses and such. And this is a, a functional deficit in retrieving the word. It's not loss of information about what the word means. And what's frustrating is that they've known these words their whole life, right? And now they have a hard time uh, retrieving the relevant information fluently which really adversely affects communication. We were awarded a grant from NIH, um, and the focus of the grant is to um, learn to apply these learning principles to aphasia, to the treatment of naming impairment. But in our prior work, um, we were limited in studying a relatively small and, and homogeneous um, population. The ultimate goal is to understand if an individual with aphasia comes into the clinic, um, we can diagnose exactly how is their naming impairment manifesting, what are the underlying processes that are damaged, um, and how can we design treatment um, to address that specific naming impairment. So in the first year of the grant, um, we have developed a, a large neuropsychological battery, test battery, that all people with aphasia, um, as they come in through the study, will be characterized with. Um, and we've also um, begun the case series uh, to understand how the different principles of learning that we're studying um, might interact in interesting ways with different kinds of functional deficits, for example, such as an individual, if they have a working memory problem, if they had a, have an executive function problem, this might interact with these principles. How I hope that this work will ultimately help clinicians um, is by giving them a theoretical framework for understanding both the, the deficit, the underlying functional deficit for a particular person with aphasia, but also understanding what experiences target that specific deficit um, and an understanding of how it exerts change, really, um, so that they can design treatment for maximal benefit.